I mean, I'm betting these filmmakers or directors and and, and uh, they they don't want it to take two or three years. They want it no. like right now if they could. And yes. a lot of it, it's it's this damn waiting game. Uh, and I'm not saying that's what they're going through, but just in my personal experience, you're handing things off to certain people, even if you pay them or it's a favor. It's the ball's in their court now. Like if you're waiting for your colorist, or if you're re- waiting for your editor, or the right person to score it, or I mean, there's just so many factors. Or there's um, if you're going back and you're looking at the film, you're like, oh my gosh, this thing's missing. I need this. Or you're going to do yeah. any reshoots. Yeah. I mean, there's just so many things, and a lot of it, as even as a director, it's out of your control. Especially if you don't have the finances, yes. and you, you want and you want this certain person, or you can only afford this person. And you have to wait for them. Yeah. And Wonder- sometimes it's like if, if you're doing a demo in your house or you're doing <laughs> the new hardwood floors and the guy estimates it's going to take a month and it's three months and you're still, and you're still living in a hotel right. or you, uh, your right. parents' basement waiting for your house to be done. Right. It's exactly that. You know, it's, there's just so many pieces to it. It's out of your control. Yes. That, that collaborative process is just so daunting. Um, you know, which is why you have producers and you know location managers and all this stuff. That's how complicated it is. Yeah, usually that's uh, they're, they're experts at that. So that's why it makes it elevates the film right. A higher. Right. Um, then well, my yeah. question is, do you think this this could have been done when you first approached it? I mean, um, not really getting the funds, but also just just going straight into actually like um, producing something like uh, a short short film. On your characters. Well, that's why, you know, I kind of counted on Patrick because I saw my son. I said, how am I going to do this? I'm one guy. I don't know anything about production. I have no, I'm not in the industry. I don't know people. But Patrick does. Yeah. You're a writer, not a filmmaker. Correct. So I'm. that's what I said early on. Listen, I just want to write this thing, man. I don't can't, you know, if I have any locations I could help you with, I, you know, like being in the, in the yeah, hood, in the I, hood. I, I'll help so. you. Yo, you know, but... You know, I, I can't cast people. I don't know who's in, you know. So I trust I trust Patrick because he's got a good eye, a good ear. Um, you know, he's very honest about how this film's um, going to appear. If you've seen any of you, his films, you know that, you know, Cantonese, the proper dialect and, you know, a true honest uh, Cantonese speaker mm. is, is what you're going to get. It's not somebody you know, like pretending to speak Cantonese or you know or speaking Mandarin. Well, people or, from the neighborhood will know right away. Yeah. Right, right away. Right so away. He he doesn't want any of that, you yeah. know, because uh, people when they see your stuff and on the screen and they hear it, they'll know right away. Mm-hmm. You know, either it works or it doesn't work. And it won't work. It won't work if you. It won't work. You a know? fake Cantonese accent. Yeah. Will not <laughs> it already, work. already ruins the whole it, experience. It'll, yeah. yeah. It'll it'll yeah. it'll break the spell. Everything. Yeah. Yes. It'll, everything. it'll break the spell, and that's yeah. the whole thing about filmmaking. You got to keep them under the the, the spell the whole time yes. in that world and trancing it. Because as soon as something's off, the brain's gonna well, uh, that's a little strange, and it's then you're gonna start <laughs> critiquing every yeah, little thing, and you right. just can't stop thinking about it. Yeah. You know what film did that for me? That was uh, the Departed. Uh, where they had that uh, Asian gangster come on and he starts speaking Cantonese or whatever it was. It was like gibberish. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, man, I love Leo. I love Martin Scorsese. What the fuck? <laughs> you just <laughs> fucked it up. Your entire show, entire movie just fucked up because of that. Yeah, you, you, can't, you can't have that. I mean, yeah. you know, it, it just doesn't ring true. And, and if it does, it, re- it really will score big for you. Uh, if you saw the last tip, the narration was in, like, perfect Cantonese. It was almost like a poem. The way the guy narrated that, you know, uh, you know, he met the girl there when they were younger, mm-hmm. and he would go out on a date, and you know, Chile Yit Lao, and you know, I remember her, and you got, you got the thing, and you got the thing. It's poetry in motion. He had a great voice, too. And I think Patrick was going to be good for that, because he's not going to allow it to diverge into something that sounds phony. Mm-hmm. Right. And and yeah, I think, I think he'll be able to steer the ship and the actors and give them the, give the whole team the proper guidance to really I, I mean it sounds like you guys have this picture painted on you guys know exactly what you guys want man I'm and excited the type of texture I, I can't wait to see it I, I want to see what you guys draw up yeah I, I love that Ty and Perry are like into it you know they're of course just not like, it's oh, a neighborhood you know. thing hell yeah, yeah. it's they, it's a passion project yes yes so uh, I'm already liking that there's you know speaking out about the project and 
I'm seeing them in their roles. I mean, I've got, and I've seen Perry and Warrior and Ty and uh, Wu Assassins, and I'm like, look, oh man, <laughs> this is gonna kick ass. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to jinx it, but you know, yeah. like.